What happens when you need to stay in an expensive long-term care facility? Find out today when David Edge discusses the American Retirement Advisor Newsletter Success Story of the Month. Hello, happy people, and welcome back to another episode of 65 and Counting. I'm your host, Adam Fry. I'm a certified Medicare planner, and I'm here to ask the important questions that you want answered by industry professionals. This show is for everyone and anyone coming up on that important milestone of 65 years old. That means retirement, it means Medicare eligibility, or it means that you're just plain interested in the world of retirement planning. Whatever it is, on this show, you'll hear from the people that know it best. Welcome back, everyone. Great episode for you today. It's time for another success story episode. This week, we'll all get to hear how one couple was able to get all the information they needed from us on what, when, and how to use a LTC or long-term care policy. So without any further delay, here's Mr. Edge with the success story of the month. Okay, we get to our last article and here we are. Uh, Success story of the month by David Edge. Cost too much. Barry and Robin had made an appointment with us and when I got them on my computer uh, via a virtual meeting, I could see their smiling faces. After we all exchanged cordial greetings and asking if they were safe and healthy, The meeting got down to business. They were very familiar with American Retirement Advisors as we had already assisted them in research on their Medicare health coverage as well as reviewing the most appropriate time to turn on their Social Security benefits. As usual, I asked, how can we help? Barry's mom had passed away after a lengthy stay in a long-term care facility and luckily his mom had long ago purchased a long-term care policy that took care of almost everything between the policy benefits and her monthly Social Security check. Robin was quick to add that they did not have such a policy in place and were concerned about how they would be able to pay for such a service if anything happened to either of them. Barry added, we don't want to spend our life savings paying for long-term care because it costs too much and what would happen to the other spouse after we run out of money? I reassured them that this indeed was a serious issue most folks ignore, and long-term care expenses is one of the top reasons folks go bankrupt in retirement years. Around 70% of folks will need some sort of long-term care in their lifetimes, either at a facility or at home, and women are almost twice as likely to need this service as men. Having long-term care plan in place doesn't necessarily mean you need a policy, I stated as we continued the discussion. There are multiple ways to receive care. First, in many cases, a family member will assist with care for an elderly parent or relative, but this can create issues as we look at the age and health of the caregiver and their ability and training to actually provide proper care. Second, We can always go shopping for a long-term care policy, but the older you are, the more expensive these policies can become. And just note, your health gets you a policy, not money. Third, you can actually have coverage through your retirement funds as some financial products offer long-term care riders that provides money in the event you go to long-term care facility. Provisions in all these options have many variables and require some serious research. Well, we don't want our kids to have to worry about us, Robin was quick to add. We didn't have very much to worry about financially with Barry's mom because she was prepared. I explained that we have guideposts on this topic and we will send those to you as soon as possible so that you can become better educated on all your options. I also reviewed what financial expectations they had and offered to research long-term care solutions that would meet their goals. And finally, we reviewed their assets to determine if their needs would be better served with other retirement income producing products that would also add a layer of long-term care financial protection. They were both relieved that there were more options than they realized, and we set a date for our next appointment where we could review more factual remedies after we can complete research on their half. As usual, you guys are great at helping us understand how this all works, Barry exclaimed. Does this sound like an issue you've been struggling with? Call us. We can help. Thanks for listening, folks. We hope you enjoyed this edition of the American Retirement Advisor, and remember, You can go to our website and download the copies, and there's even past copies available if you'd like to catch up a little bit. So have a great month. 
Wow, thanks again, Mr. Edge. Barry and Robin were very smart to consider that they may need some protection in the future when it comes to their long-term care needs. And now they won't have to put that stress on their children if the need should arise. Thanks again for tuning in everyone. Don't forget to like the video, follow our page, and most importantly, share it with all your friends. And everyone, have a great week.